Hello everyone, my name is David Richard from Weekly Tools, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be diving into a common automotive issue that many of you have asked about, ECU failure. If you've ever experienced problems with your car's electronic control unit, commonly known as the ECU, you're in the right place. We'll discuss the causes, symptoms, and possible repair options for ECU failures. So, let's get started. First, let's understand what the ECU is and its importance in your vehicle's functioning. The ECU is essentially the brain of your car, responsible for controlling various systems such as the engine, transmission, fuel injection, and more. Now, let's talk about the causes of ECU failure. There are several factors that can contribute to ECU failure. One common cause is voltage spikes or electrical surges, which can occur due to faulty wiring, alternator issues, or power supply problems. Exposure to excessive heat or moisture can also lead to ECU failure, as it can damage the sensitive electronic components within the unit. Another potential cause is a manufacturing defect or software glitch in the ECU itself. Now that we know the causes, let's move on to the symptoms of ECU failure. It's essential to be able to recognize these signs early on to prevent further damage to your vehicle. One of the most common symptoms of ECU failure is an illuminated check engine light on your dashboard. However, it's important to note that this light can indicate various issues, so it's necessary to perform a diagnostic scan to confirm if the ECU is the culprit. Other symptoms may include engine misfires, stalling, rough idling, sudden loss of power, or even complete engine failure. If you experience any of these signs, it's crucial to address the issue promptly. Now, let's discuss the repair options for ECU failures. In some cases, repairing the ECU may be possible, especially if the issue is related to a software glitch or minor damage. This usually involves reprogramming the ECU or replacing specific components within it. However, if the ECU has suffered significant damage, it may need to be replaced entirely. When it comes to repairing or replacing the ECU, it's important to consult with a professional mechanic or an authorized service center. They have the expertise and diagnostic tools to accurately assess the situation and determine the best course of action. Remember, attempting to repair or replace the ECU yourself without the necessary knowledge and equipment can lead to further damage or compatibility issues. To summarize, ECU failure can occur due to voltage spikes, heat or moisture exposure, or manufacturing defects. Recognizing the symptoms early on, such as check engine light illumination or engine performance issues, is crucial. If you encounter these signs, consult a professional mechanic to evaluate and repair or replace the ECU as needed. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope it was informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.